on an all-new Dr. Phil. These are all my track marks. Kids hooked on drugs. This is your last opportunity to get straight. You said that to me three freaking times. But it's the parents who need an intervention. He was in rehab, but you decided to reject the recommendations of the professionals. We are not experienced people with drug addiction. Then why don't you listen to the people who are? Because I still am a parent and I still want to do everything for him even though I know it's wrong. Are you an enabler? You kicked against this. Mark, why should he have not gone into an apartment in Kerrville with another addict instead of going into the Mark Houston Recovery Center? He had just barely begun the process of, of recovery and as a result of their course of enabling their actions and their choices, they stopped the process. At Mark Houston, there is a high degree of structure, correct? Yes. And a high degree of accountability. Yes. Give me a few words about that. Yeah, it's it'd be a community of uh, approximately uh, 30 men that Monday through Friday get up at uh, 6.15, go to bed at uh, 10.30. Our watchwords there is it's time to grow up. Uh, accountability, responsibility, commitment. Uh, the tragedy for me in all of this is all of these people, including the professionals, are working so hard for your son and your actions and behavior continually sabotage. As a matter of fact, Looking at everything that I've known right now, if I'd have known this in the very beginning, that you two weren't committed like you told Dr. Phil, I would never have agreed to take him. What do you say, Dr. Lawless? President of Mark Houston Recovery Center, this is a process. It is a tough one. It starts here with me. Anthony Haskins picks it up backstage. It does take a village. We'll keep you updated on all of this. Thanks for being here. So long.